Aaron Judge is your American League MVP, getting 28 of the 30 first place votes. So capping an incredible season. And moments ago, Derek Jeter weighing in on Twitter. Congratulations to the Judge uh, winning it. The judge 44, obviously. Uh, Jose Trevino. Just saying this, number 99. So high praise from his teammate there, the Platinum Glove winner. And then Jamison Tyone, another teammate who's now a free agent, honored to share a locker room with Judge, the absolute best in every area of the game on and off the field. Special, special season. And Michael, you talked about it, that his teammates, and we kind of heard it from Garrett Cole, just head shaking at the kind of season that he had. I told you he's pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it is interesting and John could speak to this obviously much better than I can but just being around the team no one begrudged him any of this. No one looked at him as big timing anybody. I mean from the the, the the lowest person on the totem pole in the Yankee organization he treated everybody the same and treated them with respect. I saw how he interacted with children. You know how he gets down on their level and looks them in the eyes. But I've also been around teams where guys are having great years and some guys aren't that thrilled because they're not all about the team. They're all about themselves. Aaron Judge never ever displayed any of that. Yeah the one thing that you cannot do is hide your true self in a major league clubhouse when you're going through 162 games a year with spring training. I mean you're spending more time with those guys in the clubhouse than you are your family and you just can't hide. If you're a bad guy who's a great baseball player it's going to come out and obviously Aaron Judge not only the American League MVP from all accounts from what his teammates talk about them the way they react to him he's an outstanding person as well and treats everybody the way that they should be treated Anthony Rizzo just in that little crypt said he's the captain of the Yankees the captain of our club and the only way you can be the captain of a club is treating everybody whether it's coaches support staff players the way they deserve to be treated and by the way the way he handled everything is just it's 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 so good the way that he, like you mentioned, he treats everybody the same, the kids, the interaction with the kids, playing catch with kids in the stands, that kind of thing. That, that all adds up. Again, I know it's not part of the vote total, but it means a lot. It is when it's not part of the vote total because we don't have a vote and obviously it's a baseball writers award but it does mean something you when you watch it I mean I, I've been so lucky to be around the Yankees for 36 years and I've seen unbelievable players Hall of Fame players some of them are really good guys some of them aren't but this guy just conducts himself in his way in a way and you know mom and dad are always there. And I think they're, they're a great compass for him as well. They're not going to let him go too far off. The same thing with Derek Jeter, with his mom and dad. They were there all the time. And then seeing mom travel with him in the chase for 62, it was very endearing. It was, it was, it was a beautiful moment. It was a beautiful season. And it's capped off with an MVP he so richly deserves. Yeah, and the one thing that, I, again, going back to being a teammate of a great player, you also cannot hide when you talk about how important winning is to him. And when you listen to Aaron Judge, all he talks about about is how important it is to win the game and he wants to give everybody else more attention than himself again I played with players who say that but you can tell by the way they go about their business it's all about their numbers with Aaron Judge when you listen to him when you watch him day in and day out you can tell winning that World Series and bringing it back to New York is just as important to him as maybe winning this American League MVP so we'll see how the free agency turns out New York Yankees obviously are going to put a, a team on the field every year that is going to have a chance to win a World Series. So 62 home runs, uh, American League record now obviously, seventh most in a season, caps it by being the 14th player in Yankees history to win the American League MVP. And Michael, I wonder if he has sort of a sense of relief too. You have a pretty good idea that you're in contention for that MVP award, but you never know until you know, right? And he found out tonight. Well, he thought he was going to win in 2017, yeah. and that's the last time somebody with a higher war actually lost the MVP that's when Altuve won the MVP and a lot of Yankee fans a lot of Yankee people think that he got cheated out of that award but uh, I just hope that he's enjoying this because I remember talking to Derek Jeter's dad who said Derek never seems to enjoy the journey he said I keep telling him try to enjoy the journey and don't just look back on it and even Derek said that was one of his flaws and I could see a little bit of that in Aaron Judge I hope that he enjoyed this year because I don't know if I'll ever have another one like it not that he won't have great years but 62 is awfully special yeah the only time you really get to enjoy it is now mm -hmm. right when you get to sit back and you wonder if he actually can because he's got everything going on with free agency so they when you have a year like this you're gonna have a lot 
lot of things coming your way, and hopefully Aaron is going to be able to enjoy the whole process, enjoy the American League MVP, and really just say, I put the work in, and, yeah. and I had a great year. Now let's look forward to next year.